Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I have all the tips that I use to save battery on my iOS device. I'm using the iPhone XS here for this video, but you can use any iOS device that has at least iOS 12 or newer. If you've had issues where your battery is dying quickly, there's also a battery health tip that I'm going to be showing you in this video. So definitely watch all the way to the end to make sure you give yourself the best battery life possible with your iPhone. Let's get started. All right, so for tip number one, let's open our settings once again, and we're gonna take a look at notifications. We'll tap there. And you wanna make sure that you turn off or control your notifications, especially if you have notifications coming from apps that don't need it. So you can see I have a few here, and there's different options within each. So for example, let's say this one here, books. I don't really use Apple's books. I don't need to receive any notifications. I can turn them off completely or set them up and customize what I get. The sound, if I turn that off, obviously the sound not going off is gonna save you some battery, or you can control if it just shows up in your notification center and doesn't actually pop down as a banner. Totally up to you how you configure it, but turn off the ones you're not using and go through all your apps. That's gonna save you some battery. Tip number two here, we're going to scroll down to where it says password and accounts, and we're gonna take a look at our fetch new data here. So if we tap on that, you can see that push is enabled. So you wanna turn this off because when it's on, this setting is going to constantly search and push new emails through, which is definitely gonna burn through some of that battery life. When you do have it off, you can also configure the fetch option. So how often it's going to search for this data, you can set it to every 15 minutes, hourly, or manually, which means that once you open the app, it'll then fetch all the information. The next tip, I've talked about it many times. It's in the general tab and it's called background app refresh. If we open this up, you can see if I have mine off by default, but you can enable it and have it configured only on Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and cellular. When it's on, what it's going to do is refresh the content in all of the applications you have open in the background. And if you have a lot of applications like me, that's going to burn through your battery quite a bit. So turning it off is gonna help you with your battery life. The next tip is the standard stuff. If you wanna save your battery life, turn off your Wi-Fi here, just swipe to turn it off. And the same goes for your Bluetooth. Make sure you're doing it from your settings application. If you do it from your control center here, for example, if I turn them both back on and tap, you'll see a little notification here. When I turn it off, it's gonna say, disconnected nearby Wi-Fi until tomorrow. So it's not going to be permanent, it'll turn back on. So make sure you do this from settings. The next tips involve Siri. We're just gonna scroll down to where it says Siri and search, we'll tap there. And you can see we have a few things going on here. The first one and the main one that burns through the most battery here is going to be the Hey Siri option. It's constantly searching for it. My iPad just went off. And that means it's always listening for that keyword. So turning this off is gonna save you battery. The microphone's not gonna be waiting to hear that keyword there. Also, if we scroll down a little bit more, the Siri suggestions. So if we just pull down from the middle, you'll see the Siri suggestion applications. And as you type, different things will pop up that Siri will use what you do on your phone to give you the suggestion that best fits you. Now, if you don't use that or don't really care, you can then disable these three settings or disable the ones you don't want to use. That should save you a little bit of battery at the same time. The next tip is in your Apple ID and cloud settings here. If you take a look in the iCloud section, there is a whole bunch of different applications that are using iCloud and that means it's going to transfer or sync that information between all of these apps on all of your devices. If you don't need it to do this for anything, for example, down here I had books earlier, let's say I use it. If I don't, just swipe to turn it off or turn it off completely for things like your photos. I traditionally don't use my photo stream and shared albums, things like that to be transferred, so I turn them all off. So whatever you're not using in here, turn that off. Also the share my location section here, this is going to share your location with family and friends in different applications like messages and things like that. I leave that off as well, turning it off is gonna save you some battery. And lastly, family sharing. If you use this and have that family sharing set up, you can configure which apps and features will share the information, just configure it. I don't have it set up here, but open it up and then just turn them on or off depending on what you need shared. 
The next tip involves our location services and that's in the privacy tab and we'll tap location services right here. Now this is going to show you all the applications you have that are using your location and this is going to burn through your battery especially if you have lots of applications that use this. So at the very least go through each app and tap on it and set it to never use while you're using the app or always and just decide which applications can and can't use your location, but your best bet for the best battery is to turn location services off completely. Additionally, let's scroll all the way down. There's a little bit of a hidden setting here. It's called system services. We'll open that up and you can go through all of these and disable the ones you don't want on. The ones that I don't use really are these three right here, location-based alerts, Apple ads and suggestions. It doesn't really matter what of those I'm seeing, they're just going to be popping up. I don't really tap on them anyway. And then if we scroll down a little more, significant locations, I turn this off specifically because when it is on, it's going to then list all the frequent locations that I've been in and that I've visited. And honestly, I find that a little bit intrusive and I don't really like that. It is going to burn through your battery at the same time, but just in general, I like to turn this off as well. Now also down here, if you wanna help with product improvement, routing and traffic, popular near me, iPhone analytics, I'm gonna turn them all off here. I don't really use the Apple Maps anyway, and I don't really like giving any extra information where I don't need to. Next is the display. We'll open display and brightness here. And first let's go to the raise to wake. This is a cool feature that's going to allow your phone to wake up. So whenever your phone is down and you raise it, it's gonna wake up. Now this feature is generally okay, but if you use your phone a lot and you're picking it up constantly, having the screen constantly turning on is gonna definitely burn through your battery. You also have options up here to drop the brightness down completely. So if you're really in a pinch and you need the brightness down, turn that off right there. I just traditionally leave it like this. Auto lock is also another option here. Now in the past I used to say, set your phone to one of these timers so that it'll automatically lock it at a certain time. But now I'm suggesting you set it to never. We use our phones a lot more for looking at recipes or reading. And if that's the case and you have this set to three minutes and you have the recipe open on the table, it's going to lock the phone after three minutes. And the resources it's gonna to use to unlock it again is going to use more battery. So I suggest set it to never, just don't forget to lock your phone. The next one is a little bit obvious here, but it's in the sounds and haptics, and that's to turn off your vibrate on ring or vibrate on silent. This way the battery doesn't have to work to power that motor that creates the vibration when they're enabled. Next is handoff, and that's in general. We'll tap handoff right here. And if you have other Apple products like the MacBook or iMac, this is going to allow you to use what you're doing on your phone and then quickly hand it off to your Mac and continue where you left off or the other way around. Now, the only thing with this is that it's gonna constantly be looking for these devices. So having it on if you don't use it is gonna burn through a little bit of extra battery life. So turn it off if you don't use it or have other Apple products. Aside from the settings, we have widgets. If we swipe to the right on our phone here, you'll see the widgets that I have right here. Now these widgets are going to burn through your battery if they're constantly refreshing, like news and things like that. So just make sure the ones you are using aren't going to be refreshing. If they are, then that means the information is gonna constantly refresh if you use your widgets a lot. So if we tap edit, we can control which widgets will be on our list there. And you can see there's a whole bunch we can add to it as well as remove. Now the news applications, I use them a lot, so I want them there. But if you don't, just take them out tapping on the remove, tap remove, and that way that won't refresh every time I take a look at my widgets. Airdrop and airplane mode are two features we're gonna take a look at next. You can see I have airplane mode on now, that's because I'm receiving too many notifications during this video. But if you're ever in a plane or you just need to save as much battery life as possible, turn on airplane mode, it disables all connection to your phone, you won't receive any notifications, no data, Wi-Fi, nothing will be able to connect to it. And especially if you're in an area with bad connection where you're constantly losing your 3G or LTE signal or even Wi-Fi, wait for your better signal, turn it back on, that way it's not constantly searching. Additionally, if you press uh, on the Wi-Fi icon here, it's going to give you the extra option. So you're using 3D Touch to access this. You'll see we have AirDrop. 
Receiving is off for me, but if you do use this, set it to your contacts only. If you have it set to everyone, it's gonna constantly be searching for contacts or other iOS users who are in range. It is a great feature to transfer files between different Apple devices, but if you aren't using it a lot, just turn it on when you need it and turn it off when you don't. Also, there is a low power mode on the iPhone. You can see my battery is starting to die here and it'll prompt me to access low power mode. I can tap that, it'll put the phone in a lower power mode. You can see in the control center that it's turned yellow there. I can configure turning this on and off just by tapping it here. We can also access this setting in our settings application in the battery tab and you can see low power mode at the top. Now this is going to temporarily reduce the background activities. A lot of them I showed you already like mail fetch, You'll also notice a little bit darkening in the screen. The visuals are gonna change very slightly. It's gonna do its best to try to save the battery for you. And while we're here, you can actually see your battery usage with all the different applications. YouTube, you can see, is what I've been using most. You can tap on the graphs to see what was going on for those specific days, times. You have a 10-day, a 24-hour graph. So if we tap there, you can see at that particular time, day, I was using YouTube again for the most part. I am a YouTuber, so I'm always on there. But you can then see what's causing the issue and then work around it. Now, if things are still going wrong after you've tried all of these tips, the battery health may be the issue here. So if you tap on battery health, this is my iPhone 10 that we're looking at right here and it's already at 92%. This is about a year after I've owned it. I am a very heavy user of the iPhone. I charge it constantly, but we're already down to 92%. If you start to notice that your phone is down by the 80s, 70s, 60s, you may have some issues going on. You may wanna take a look and see if it's time to either purchase a new phone or have the battery replaced. But this is good that it's here now. You can check on your battery health. Tying in a little bit with the battery is going to be the screen time here. If we tap to open that up, you'll be able to see how long you've been using your phone. And one big feature inside this, if we tap on the graph and scroll down, is the pickups. So you can see per hour, I pick it up three times per hour. If I have that raise to wake feature, that means I'm turning the screen on like three times. And sometimes you're picking up your phone just to put it in your pocket to go from place to place or moving out of the way. You don't need that screen turning on. You'll also see how many notifications you're getting and from what per hour. So these notifications are burning through the battery a little bit. So by turning off your notifications or how they're coming through for the highest ones here, for me it's messages and messenger, I can actually configure those, maybe turn them off for certain days or times. And that way I don't have to worry about my battery draining because I'm getting so many of these notifications. And you can look through this seven days or through the day. Again, I have a full video of this. I'll leave the link in the description. You can check it out on how you can set up these screen times and actually control how you're using your phone and different applications. If you wanna go really detailed, I mean, you can go to general software update. There's an option in iOS 12 where you can have the system automatically install these updates. You can see iOS 12.01 is available now but you can see automatic updates, I have them set to off. I mean, otherwise it's going to automatically start downloading them whenever they're available. And if that's not a good time for you, I mean, it could start draining your battery. Not only that, it's gonna be an extra thing going on on your phone. So those are all the tips that I've ever used with the iPhone to save battery life. If you guys have other tips that you wanna share, leave them in the comments below for myself as well as other viewers of the channel. That way we can all help each other out. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I respond to pretty much every comment that I get. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for new videos. I'll be posting much more iPhone videos. And as always, the full playlist on all the iOS 12 and iPhone videos are in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.